You guys, I'm literally in tears yet again. It's never not going to be a thing where I don't cry when I get a new weave. And I was thinking like, doth my eyes deceive me? Like, I had to get out of bed, open my blinds, and come down here. And you guys, it's true. This was not here yesterday. It's a miracle. It's amazing how these these plants sprout new leaves. I'm so happy. And then you can see Palm in the background. You know what? I'm not giving up on Palm. She looks like a burnt out cigarette or something right now. But you know what? I'm not giving up on her because just like last time, I kept watering her. And eventually she got a new leaf. I don't care if it takes months. I'm going to keep watering her and putting her in this spot so she gets her light. I will take you guys along the journey, of course, but can you believe it? You guys want to see an update on Walter Dennis? His leaf is almost fully here. Look at how pretty and shiny it is. Oh my goodness. No splits, but it's okay. We still love it. I'm so excited. Um, obsession now because I ordered all of this paper and stationery stuff with sending letters is getting out of control. I think I've sent three letters in the past 24 hours and now I'm writing a fourth one to my friend Shani. You guys want to read it? I'm going to read it because she watches these videos and I just think this is funny. So I bought some cool new paper and stationery and so I've been sending letters to people like a madman. How are things going at work? I am so proud of you. Sometimes I go on our text message thread and watch you drive home. Not in a stalkery way, but in a proud and concerned grandma kind of way. How is your mom? I think about her too. I think I follow her on Instagram, but she doesn't have anything posted. She should post a selfie sometime with her lovely okay, jewelry well, and smile. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was funny. Shani and I have a very funny relationship. Like our friendship is basically based on sarcasm and um dark jokes not that anything in the letter was dark we just have a fun or strange depending on who you ask sense of humor when we communicate with each other and so that's why the letter sounds a little weird i have very exciting news today this morning i wake up to see this are you kidding it's been less than 30 days and I'm getting a second leaf. And this one is coming in on one of the largest leaves that Walter Dennis has. And so I'm thinking it, it could be a large leaf. And I'm, oops, sorry. I'm just, I literally screamed when I saw this because I had a dream that I got a second leaf shortly after this one came in. And here it is.
it didn't like the watercolor paper and it didn't like the Bristol board paper. And so I'm printing on regular paper because I don't have any more photo paper and that's really sad. So we'll see what happens. It's probably gonna take like 10 minutes to print, but I'm still excited. All right. I'm done. I recently purchased a new watercoloring set on Amazon and it got me thinking about how oftentimes we rush ourselves in learning new skills. Or maybe it's just me, but I'll continue with we so I feel a little less alone. Our ambition can override the joy that comes with the learning process filled with happy accidents. And then when we get to where we dreamed about and look back at the journey, we smile at the failures and tear up over the mistakes. Arriving is only half the fun, and I think we need to learn how to enjoy the process of getting there. In this hustle culture world, it can be hard to practice giving ourselves grace to mess up. Social media showcases the highlights at light speed, and we sometimes forget that there is a long process everyone must go through before arriving at their destination. I don't share this observation because I've overcome the delusion. I share it from a moment outside the rush, a place I definitely need to frequent more often. I have to remind myself to slow down both in my physical body and mind. And I feel like the expectation sometimes is to go 90 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone, but I'm not risking my life for an illusion of success. I don't know that God ever intended for us to be frantic and on the go all the time. Otherwise, I don't think the fruit of the Holy Spirit would include patience and peace. And I just want to remind you to not become hypnotized by the illusions of social media and the expectations of our fast-paced world. Try to slow down sometimes and enjoy whatever it is you're doing. Just good fall vibes today. Like the apple tree, I have a candle lit that smells really good. The weather finally cooled down like no more no more heat wave thank god because we're going through a heat wave out here for a little bit 
really um, bizarre because it was, it's still the beginning of October, but it was just weird because it's like over 90 degrees every single day last week. So one of the things we had to do was try to make a self-portrait of ourselves using our non-dominant hand, which for me is my left hand. And so here's how mine came out. It looks nothing like me, I'm aware, but um, it came out better than I expected, honestly. Another thing I tried to do um, the other day was expose some film onto film paper using the sun, and this is how it came out. Not very good. <laughs> I don't know if it's because the film, like this particular piece of film, was not um, exposed well when I shot it and so it was hard to develop it in the dark room so maybe that's why it didn't come out very contrasty but I don't know. And then here's the other one. You can't even see my face because this weird like, I don't know. <laughs> It's like, I must have had something covering that part and get exposed properly, so. But it was a fun little experiment to do, just for fun, you know? I just wanted to come on here and say I have become addicted to watercoloring like it's not even funny there's less pressure I think to mess up if that makes sense because you don't really know or it could just be because I'm inexperienced but I don't really know what the what the paint's gonna do because it's so runny because obviously it's water-based and so you don't really know how the color is going to spread out and how opaque it's going to be and everything unless you're you know doing layers and stuff but even then it's kind of a surprise how it turns out and therefore you don't have to feel pressure the pressure of having it turn out perfect and I think that's what makes it fun I'm one of those people where like once I discover something that I really like <laughs> like I become super obsessed with it and I start telling everyone that I'm obsessed with it and I start dedicating all my time to it um, so that's me. <laughs> okay, so before I close out this vlog, I wanted to just show you guys all of the paintings I've made because I was going to do like a little slideshow at the end and be like, la la la. But I'll just show you guys in video form because um, I have them all sitting right here. And for some reason, I'm just too lazy to take pictures of all of them and then crop them and then editing or not editing but putting photos into iMovie which is what I usually use to edit my vlogs for some reason is such a a tedious task like it's not they don't make it very easy because of the settings that are automatically on there when you put photos in iMovie like you have to like turn off um I think it's called the Ken's Burns effect and then you have to make sure it's cropped properly and if it's not then you have to like put it on a canvas so that you can see the full picture and i'm just like i don't want to go through all of that at first i didn't think i liked this one because i added to it last night and i was like eh. but i think i can turn it into something nice um i got a little frustrated and just like put a little line through it but maybe that makes it kind of fun right 
it's a flower um i was just like experimenting with different techniques with the brush to make flowers and i was trying to give it some dimension um hence the different shading but i don't know how successful that was this is one i made today i just typed in easy watercolor flowers on google images and there was this little template step by step on how to make a rose and it was really easy not too satisfied with the leaves because of the paint i think i used too much paint or maybe not enough i don't know but for the most part i like that one okay, this one is an original I did not like trace anything. I didn't trace anything for this either, but I wouldn't say it's an original because I used the template for the step-by-step. -step. Um, but this one's an original. I was just experimenting around with techniques to make flowers and I did the insect on my own. It's flowers and a cute little bee. And then I wrote underneath it, God bless you, cause I'm probably gonna give it to a family member. So I like it. This one, um is from the earlier segments um with the artist i can't remember her name or or his name i don't know because i've never heard that name before so here's just a little close-up yay this one um was inspired by a couple of different artists whose names i can't remember i'm so sorry i should have written it down all i do is screenshot them and then save them onto my computer um but yeah, the mushroom was like a template step-by-step -step as well. And then the whole like globe thing kind of, I don't know if it's supposed to be a globe or if it's just a circle, was inspired by another artist. And it says, what does it say? For you from Journey. I just put generic little two, two generic from Journey because I don't know who I'm going to give these to. I'm probably not going to give this one to anyone because it's a mushroom and I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I just think mushrooms are cute. That's the reason I, I did that. This one is incomplete. I was trying to make a lotus flower, but I got frustrated and I just gave up because I was like, the shape is all wrong. Like I was doing it freehand. This was before I started trying to trace stuff. I was doing it freehand and I was like, dude, this is really bad. Um, so, but we'll just keep it anyway because we gotta keep, we gotta keep all of it for the memories. There's a bird that I <laughs> um, got from a YouTube tutorial, but I didn't watch the entire tutorial. I, I actually didn't watch any of the tutorial. I just skipped to the end so I could see the bird and then I was like, okay, let's go. Um, I didn't trace it which is probably made clear because look at it. The bird does look like this. Like it's like, it was supposed to be like a cute little chubby little bird or chunky little bird, but um, it looks better in the video, so. All right, next we have this one is a flower. I think it came out pretty cute. And then I tried to do these like vine things coming from the top. So I think that's fun. I should probably add a leaf here and then to balance it out like some more leaves. Cause it just looks weird that there's like a little stick right there. And then the last one, this is probably the one I'm still the most proud of, um, is the bunny rabbit because I think it just came out so cute and I love all the little stickers I added on there. And I haven't decided who I'm gonna give it to yet. I need to figure out some envelope situation i feel like i always get myself into like new creative like things and then i'm like yeah i'm gonna do this and then i don't keep doing it or i don't do it consistently because it's not that i don't like continue to do the thing i just don't do it consistently so like with my sculpting i i did that uh project when i was on break of um poison fruit based on the poem I wrote, um, but I haven't made any sculpture since then. I looked at my clay, which is in my sculpting box, but I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to make. I'm just waiting to like stick to an idea of what I want to do with the clay. But there was also that phase where I was like doing the drawings on my iPad, which was a fun time, 
but I don't know. The the iPad drawings just weren't giving what needed to be gave for me. For me. Like, if I'm going to do digital art, it's going to be, like, Photoshop with my photos. Like, I don't think the digital drawings are for me at this time. But it was fun. And, you know, maybe I'll return to it at some point. And, obviously, I'm still taking photos because that's never going to end. And, yeah. So, I guess those are the only things I'm doing right now as far as, like, making artwork that is visible. I'm still a little hesitant to share all of my poems just because, you know, some of them are really personal and I haven't written any like good poems in a while um, or recently so I don't really have any new poems to share right now but when I do I will share them and probably put together some kind of art visual to go along with it. Thanks for sticking around for all of my various creative endeavors. So I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys next time and have a great day, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time you're watching this. Bye.